Be sure to stick around to the end of the video. We're going to give you details on how to get yourself a free KH100 Plus from Lonsdor. What's up, UHS hardware fans? It's me, Louie, here in front of the UHS headquarters with this 2020 RAV4 from Toyota. This vehicle, we're going to be programming all new Prox keys for it, not going the old route using the NASF account, a NASF code, having only 24 to 48 hours to use it, paying $60 to $150 plus, also having to get an OEM Toyota key, $150 or more. We're not doing all that. We got something new for you. Instead, we'll be using the Lonsdor K518 USA and the KH100 Plus, along with a Lonsdor dedicated Toyota key and the yearly authorization for Toyotas, which you can get right now at uhs-hardware.com by searching for L-O-N-T-O-I. The authorization also covers the Toyota Highlander, Avalon, Lexus ES350, and ES250. Let's get to it. I'm gonna show you everything you need to know. It's gonna be easy. We're gonna get it done right now. Come with me. Okay, so once you're in the vehicle, you have to make sure that you have a strong Wi-Fi signal available, either a hotspot or something nearby. Also make sure you already have your new authorization installed and that you're pretty much ready to go. You don't have to have your OBD connected or anything like that, so, so don't worry about that. First thing we're gonna do is disassemble the key. Just remove the emergency key first. Just a little bit of pressure right there on the inside. See that? So, pop that open. As we take it all apart, this is the card that we're looking for. We're gonna make sure that this is the side that you're using to place towards the machine. We have our Wi-Fi already connected. First thing you wanna do is head to your settings area of the KH100 Plus and select Wi-Fi settings. Make sure you have a nice, strong Wi-Fi selected. You'll need the Wi-Fi the entire time we're doing this process. Okay, successful. Heading back to the home screen. I already have my PCB board removed from the remote. As you can see here, the buttons make no function whatsoever. So we're good to start. We're gonna go into special function. Select FT smart key, 8A. And then instead of going all the way down this list, we're just gonna go up to generate smart key. All right, then we connect to the service on the internet. We're going to be asked to put the PCB board across the coil. Once it's there, the KH100 is going to read the PCB board and then suggest some frequencies to place onto it in order to connect to the vehicle. The one we want to use is the last one, 314.35, by 312.09. Frequencies may vary. US frequencies range between 312 and 315. All right, so now that it's put the frequency onto the key as such, we're going to hold it next to the start stop button, push it, wait up to 10 seconds for the card to get a good connection to the vehicle. You want a solid flash that continues for a bit. You don't want it to flash and then stop do any kind of double flashes, anything like that. You want a nice rhythmic solid flashing that continues at least 10 seconds on its own. So this is it's not looking like a good connection. I'm gonna start this over. Okay, so that's a nice strong flash that's continued for at least 10 seconds. That means we got a good download. If the Lonsdor unit fails to proceed past this point, choose another frequency and repeat the previous process. Once we have the data, we're gonna actually hold it back to the machine. Hit OK to continue to the next step where it's gonna read the code that we just downloaded from the vehicle to produce the information that we're gonna need to start the car. The question here is, do we have a working key? The answer is gonna be no, as we have all keys lost. So we're going down to no. Okay, now we're gonna calculate the code information for a vehicle with all keys lost. Hit okay, because we have a fully generated key. Now we're gonna test it to see how the functions work. Pushing buttons, we got no function from the buttons. But we should be able to start the vehicle. So I'm gonna zoom out here so we can get a good view of it if it starts up. Okay, and as we can see, the vehicle has started, so the generation of the code was correct. So now we can actually move on to the next step. Getting all the buttons to function and for us to be able to do proximity. If the car starts but the remote doesn't work, continue to the next step. If 
everything's working fine, it's not necessary, you're done. So from there, we can say right inside these special functions and continue forward. Underneath generate smart key is modify remote count value. So we're gonna select that. This is literally only for use if the key has been partially programmed but isn't working correctly. It has to be generated first or none of this will work. So we hit execute and it pulls up our value. All right, so as you can see now, our modify value is at zero. The current value is 1008. What you wanna make sure you do here is that not for one second do you hit enter while modify is highlighted yellow. Hit the modify these numbers, so make sure they're highlighted. Select and go over here. We'll make this a one, and then this is gonna be a four, zero, eight. So we're just adding 400 to it because that is the increment step in which we can modify the number. Continue to add increments of 400 until you find success. Remember, the sequence ranges from 1 to F, so keep the letters in mind while adding. We're gonna go back in and try it again, since that wasn't successful. And it's okay, it's supposed to be unsuccessful a few times until it works. So we're gonna hit execute again. Key is lined up. All right, 3C42 will equal 4042. All right, we're successful. Testing again. Oh, you see that? Okay, I'm gonna zoom out so you can see. Okay, gonna hold the uh, emergency alarm. All right, panic is working. So that's good to know. So now we're gonna actually test, test the procs. I'm gonna keep the key right here next to the camera so you can see. Holding the brake, hitting start. All right, the procs is working now. The button functions are working. That's a fully functioning key right there. We'll catch you guys next time. Have a good one. All right, we got ourselves a giveaway, guys. A free KH100 Plus to the lucky person to be picked in our raffle to be chosen in about a week or so. Make sure you leave below hashtag UHS hardware to get yourself into that raffle for this free KH100 Plus.